Hello everyone, this is Redact and this game is called Lifeless Moon. Found ourselves in a little town. We've been doing some exploring. And we just found a ladder that goes down into the darkness. Let's go and see what's down there, shall we? Let's go down then, see what we can find, if anything. Search underground lab for a way to restore power to the town. So we've got the log. Got that. So we missed 1.3. Don't know how we managed to do that. We're going to have a look around then. What's this? You're done cleaning up your messes. A janitor is still a person. I'm not your experiment. You sent me to that grey desert. You watched me gasp for air. Why? I will never forget the smell. Like black charcoal. I'm never going back there. I quit. Let's see. Hmm. We restore power. Vacuum chamber. What's this? So I had to re I had the game doesn't like to auto save too much, so I have to redo some of this. So it looks like I haven't read this. So a cavity. This lava tube provided a cavity for the vacuum chamber. This is far more fortunate than most areas that became fused into the rocks during the teleportation event. People in those sections, I guess there's statues now. Dr. Emily Watson. So there's been some sort of event that teleported this town onto the moon. Dr. Emily Watson, research scientist at the Muroc Center. On Monday, my engineer suggested revising the power input. Somehow, this small modification initiated a runaway reaction, spawning a teleportation event and much greater scale than we imagined possible. Right, so it's her fault, this Emily. Of course it is. Bloody scientists. They're so smart. Uh, did I get something in my notebook? Disaster. This is Dr. Emily Watson, research scientist at the Murdoch Flight Research Center. Earlier this morning, four colleagues and I were conducting an experiment in the vacuum chamber. Specifically, we were hoping to gain insight into the idea that antimatter particles are actually regular particles traveling backwards in time. We tried for months to initiate a small scale teleportation of electrons, but with no success. On Monday, my engineer suggested revising the power input based on Soviet research. Somehow, this small modification initiated a runaway reaction, warning a teleportation event at much greater scale than we imagined it possible. Hmm. The Soviets again. Can't interact with those levers. Aha. Vacuum chamber incident. What new horror is this? I worried the technician was on the brink of a breakdown yesterday, but today I fear it is me who is falling apart. We were working the vacuum chamber as he was handing me a tool. I saw his arm was covered in terrible blisters. I immediately flashed back to my sister's last day. So her body wasted away in that dreadful hospital. I let out a small shriek and dropped the experiment. He instinctively reached out to comfort me and I saw his skin was completely normal. As I think about it now, the best scenario is that I was hallucinating. But when I close my eyes, I see those awful sores. Can't shake the idea his arm actually changed somehow. You're going mad, lady. Clearly you're going madder. What's around here? Maybe something. Reward me for exploration game, please. 
No. Fine. Be like that game. So I need to play until it auto saves and then I'll split the episodes up depending on what actually happens. Doesn't auto save when I exit the game. Ooh, right, so I can interact with that. I don't want to do that yet. Interact with that. But those levers can't do anything weird. Let's try and go into this place. This building and see what's there. What is this? Something mechanical. I know. I'm an expert. I definitely want to get in there. There's lots of shit in there. Alright, we'll turn the thing then. Turn the thing and then maybe it will open the thing. That do something. See how smart I am? Investigate the water tower. What's 1.3, man? What what did I miss? It's, it's, it's explore the town, isn't it? For some reason I don't have it anymore. Alright, fine. It's because I had to restart. Let's go back out. Did turning on the power do anything over here? Ooh, what's up here then? Chamber door code. Current door code for the vacuum chamber door. 1x34. Activate with control room computer. Keep control room door locked when not in use. So I need to get into that control room first. Oh, well, let's go out then. Back here. Let's go explore the bit upstairs then, shall we? The water tower. It was this way. So the scientists were doing some sort of experiment. And that had something to do with protons, was it? Reversing protons or something? Doesn't explain how they were able to live here. Were they in suits or could they breathe or something? I don't know. Maybe the game would explain it. Go, go the correct side, please. Thank you. There we go. Keep climbing up. It's a pretty game, though. It's nice. Where is that? A key? Would it be a key? Inventory. Search the school. No, oh, I do have an inventory. So we've got a key. Don't want to fall down. That would be... Bad idea. Can we go down faster? Can you like slide down like a badass? 
No. Alright, just be a donkey. Fine. So we needed a key for the diner, but it said search the school. Let's see if I can get in the diner. No. So where is the school? Near the playground? Perhaps. Yes. No? Seriously? Inventory, notebook, jump, interact. Seriously? Is there another door? The bank door? Yes. See. No, can't go in there. Definitely bigger on the inside than the outside. Feel like the TARDIS. Yeah, definitely bigger. Mausoleum. These were my countrymen. Their names live on in my heart. They died together, yet terribly alone, torn from the world, thrown to a rock hundreds of thousands of miles away. Their last words were silent, asphyxiated screams into the horrible nothingness that greeted them here. Burying them would have meant ignoring their sacrifice. They sleep here now, preserved memories, icy angels who pioneered our future. Anything else to search the school? So they just left them in the school gym, did they? Rest in peace. Amy, Barry, Gerald, Fred, Sally, John and Joanne, Rebecca, Janet and Jane Doe. No many friends. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Seeing what? They're all frozen. Looks like someone gathered up the corpses and brought them in here. Seems like only the research scientists survived the teleportation event. Suspicious. Personal letter. Hey, Laura. I'm sorry about how we left things last week. Soon my work here will be done. Take a trip somewhere nice. Just you and me. I'm sick of this desert. Think of working so hard for these obsessive, uptight engineers and scientists. I miss you, my dear. So there was a secret lab in a town somewhere. And then he got teleported to the moon. That's sort of what I'm thinking at the moment. What is this? Inventory again. Right, that's the diner key. All right, I don't know how you knew that that was the school key, but fine. To go to the diner now. Alright. Going to the diner. Apparently we don't walk we don't run inside. Alright, I hate to say it's all making sense, but this has got to be related to that huge explosion out in the desert a couple of years ago. They thought an experiment at the research center destroyed half the town and killed a bunch of people, remember? They never found anything except a huge crater in the ground. Well, if my eyes are not deceiving me, the explosion wasn't really an explosion, but some kind of teleportation event that just transported everything to the moon. A grim reality. Discovered frozen bodies in the school. I can't imagine the pain that these poor souls experience. Suffocation. 
decompression sickness for anyone lucky enough to survive. There must be more somewhere. I haven't found their bodies. Could they have made it through any of this? I'll keep looking. Their families deserve answers. Diner. Doesn't really explain what happened to me, unless it was like... I'm after... I'm after something? Byproduct of that experiment meant that there were other portals around? I don't know. The game just auto saved, so this is where we're going to leave this particular episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back for another episode very soon. Take care, everyone.